Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? Today, we're going to be talking about pivots. So as you can see, I have my mesh here, and the pivot for this mesh is really, really bad. So the way you're going to transform the uh, pivot widget here is you're going to hold middle mouse and then hold alt, and then you can move the widget relative to the mesh. And you can do this with any of the accesses, and you can grab the middle as well if you wanted to. Now, once you have the pivot where you want it relative to your mesh, you can right click, go to pivot, and then put as set pivot offset. So now when you click off and click back, it'll actually stay right there. Another way you can actually move the pivot relative to your mesh is you can click anywhere on your mesh. Let's do the top right. You can click there and you can go to pivot settings. And then you can go to set pivot offset here. And now it'll actually put the pivot right to where you right clicked when you actually went to the pivot settings. Now you're going to also once again want to right click there and set as pivot offset in order to actually keep it there. So when you click off and click back, it'll stay there. Okay, now let's say you want to actually apply this to your mesh itself and not just this one instance. Now, what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to go and open up your mesh. Now, this is assuming you imported this mesh into Unreal. If you have the actual files for this mesh and you're the one who imported it in, then you can go open up your mesh, go to details, go to import settings, go to transform, and then right here, import translation is actually how you're going to move this mesh relative to this pivot here. As you can see, my pivot is very, very far beneath this mesh. I'm going to kind of eyeball it, and so you guys have to as well when you do this. And you can do this as many times as you want, but basically this translation is your pivot. So let's re-import base mesh, and as you can see down here, the pivot is now much, much closer to the bottom and, and closer to the mesh itself. And as you can see, I could put it to negative maybe 100 even and try and get it closer. Re-import base mesh, and now it's a little higher there. But yeah, that's how you do it. Import base mesh. Now save, and now every single instance is going to have that pivot now. Now let's say you don't actually have the files for the mesh you want to change your pivot for. Like let's say you're working in, you're using some of the starter content, or maybe you are getting something off the Unreal Store, or maybe you're working with mods and, and working in an SDK where you don't have the files to the thing you're working uh, with. The way, there's a couple, you can't do the re-import thing, which is the main way you'd normally uh, set up the actual pivot permanently. So there's, there's only workarounds if you don't have the files yourself. One of these workarounds is you can, let's go ahead, right click here, set pivot offset here, then right click again, set as pivot offsets and it's still there when we click it one of the ways you can do this is by duplicating the object and all of the duplicated objects will have the same pivot that's one of the workarounds another workaround is you can actually just go ahead and make an entirely separate actor now let's just call this chair open up the actor and let's wait for that to open up drag this over here open up the actor um, add a static mesh and then we're going to go ahead and actually get the um, chair static mesh real quick. Get that, put it in here. Ba bing, bada boom. And now, as you can see, this uh, default scene root, which is the little white circle here, that default scene root is now going to act as our pivot for this uh, mesh. So now you can move this mesh relative to this pivot. And now let's just put the, it right there. Let's compile and save. And now when we drag out this actor, that uh, pivot is now going to be where we set it. And the mesh is going to be relative to that. So also with rotation and all that. So that's another workaround you can do. And the last workaround, um, I think, is you can use certain, certain plugins with Unreal um, that can actually just flat out change a pivot for any mesh that that's currently you know in the engine um, but usually those kind of plugins cost money and uh, yeah so that's not really the best solution but it, you know if you got the money then you can get a plugin that probably does that for you <laughs> but that's pretty much it as far as that goes and uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, one more thing uh, two more things and this is just additional information you can close the video now if you got what you need but um, to explain why you get uh, meshes and let's go back to this target and reset that and to explain why you get meshes where the pivot is super super far away or just not close to the mesh is if you go into blender real quick and this is the same for any 3d mesh editor like Maya or blender 
excuse me, the um, zero, 00 on the grid, which in Blender is right here. This is zero, 00. Zero, 00 on the grid is actually where the pivot is relative to the mesh. So as you can see, when I exported this mesh, it's hovering way above zero, 00. So inevitably going into Unreal, now the mesh is hovering way above the pivot. So that's kind of why that'll happen. Now, one more additional thing when it comes to transforming, and this is just a little uh, tips and tricks for you guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and transform this pivot, but if you hold the V, the key V, then you can also snap this transform uh, widget UI to vertices. And you can also do this with normal transformations. So, but real quick, let's start out by moving this uh, UI. Let's go ahead and hold middle mouse, hold alt, hold V, and you can snap it. As you can see, we can snap it to the vertices of our uh, mesh here which is really, really cool. Um, but we can also do this with normal transform. Let's go ahead and mouse one this, and let's hold V. And now you can see we can actually snap the vertices of this bottom stair that I'm moving around. We can snap it to the vertice of this other bottom stair on this other stairs uh, mesh here. So basically holding V is a snap to vertice key. And that's just a little additional tidbit for you guys. All right, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys uh, have a good day. See you later.